Hi, everybody. My name is Luca Sartoni, and it's true, I started the Italian group of Ignite. But tonight I'm going to talk about symbolic violence. What is symbolic violence? You will figure out during the presentation. So, what's my job? My job is to take social media into a corporate environment. And I work at one to three people, and every day I try to take from sociology or for, uh, from anthropology new stories for my company, new way of doing things. So one day, there was a guy that came up with a request to our customer service, and the request was really weird. You have to violate the law because I have more than 200,000 followers on Twitter. So, of course, we refused, but we started thinking, why would someone ask for something like that? Why would someone force a restaurant to put up a sign like this on the door? So, an anthropologist friend of mine suggested me to research into the studies of, an, of a sociologist from France <laughs> that during the 70s came up with a very interesting theory and his name is Pierre Bourdieu. So Bourdieu said, well, the capital that was theorized by Marx is actually split into four kinds. The economic capital, which is the money and the time that we have. The social capital, which is the people that we know and the relationship we have with them. The cultural capital, that are the things that we know, our culture. And the symbolic capital, which is the very point of the presentation, is the set of symbols that we own that are recognized and legitimated by other people, such as a tie, a uniform, a job title, or a study degree. And what's interesting is that we can generate one capital using another capital. So we can spend money to afford an education, to go to university and to, to learn something. We can use a special knowledge that we have to meet new people. And we can use our friends and our social cycle to find a new job. But what is more interesting is that people tend to generate symbolic capital as soon as they can, immediately. So as soon as they have money, they buy a car. To show off, they have a car. To show off, they have money. Or they buy an iPhone, even if they don't know how to use it, but they have an iPhone. And this is especially true online, the, the need of showing off. Because online, actually, we are just represented by symbols. We are avatars. We are names, we are nicknames. Think how, how difficult it is to find the right nickname. And another interesting part of the theory is that the symbolic capital tends to push on people. We, we tend to use our symbols upon other people to state our power. And the reason is pretty simple. We gain power, we convert the power into symbols, and then we try to keep the status quo. We try to get more power, to keep the power that we have, showing off that we have power. Well, there are, there are three main and compelling evidence online that, uh, to demonstrate this. One is coming up from a study called Cultivated Play, and states that players, they keep on playing on Farmville, not because they like the game, actually, it's a bit boring, but because the friends are playing. And so they feel a social pressure. And that social pressure is a kind of symbolic violence. Then if you go on YouTube and you search for unboxing procedures, you will find thousands of video of people unboxing an iPhone. But all the iPhones are the same. And actually, all the videos are the same. But why people are doing that? Because they show enough that they have an iPhone. And they're shooting a video about that. So they are showing their friends that they have a status symbol. Then we have the third example, which is a huge market that is growing plus 40% per year, and only in the US is estimated this year for 2.1 billion, which is the virtual goods. So skins and weapons for um, avatars in video games and stuff like that. And this is the society we are creating now. I mean, we have our society and the digital society. Do we really want that two societies are one the mirror of the other? with amplification about symbols. So I think that as a company, we shouldn't rank people about their popularity on Twitter when we answer the questions, when we reply the customer requests. Actually, we are spending too much effort on influencers, on my opinion, of course. But as a users, we should ask companies and services to work just because we are humans, not because we are popular on Twitter. We should stop to claim our symbols when we are online to get attention. Just because we have natural rights, and we have to take advantage of that. So, thank you very much. Thank you for your time.